Really happy to be here. Uh, definitely very much in line with the rest of the panelists uh, and Senator Wyden on the Earn It Act being uh, very much a threat to companies like Signal. The Earn It Act, um, you know, so aggressively uh, comes after uh, technologies like us, software like us, that we would probably not be able to exist uh, in the US as we currently do. Signal and Signal's mission really as extending uh, a lot of the liberties and rights we have in our offline world to the online world. Um, you know, we all understand and, and the importance of, of privacy and private spaces in the offline space. As more of our lives move to the online space, we need to extend those same rights um, over into that space. And, and Signal really is, you know, designed to do that. Encryption is in effect, almost a side effect of that. Encryption is the tool that we use to help keep these spaces private. And so, you know, I think a lot of focus is on sort of the anti-encryption nature of uh, earn it. Um, but really for us, we look at it as just an attack on free expression, an attack on uh, the privacies that we have in our lives and in, in every facet of our life, offline and online. And so there really is not uh, a particularly clean way that the earn it um, carves out space uh, for a company like us to exist. Um, you know, the Leahy Amendment that you mentioned and, and the other managers amendments, you know, are, are definitely you know, interesting efforts uh, to try to create that space um, for, for companies like ourselves, but uh, fall pretty drastically short um, in being able to give us any peace of mind. For us, the, the reasoning for using encrypted services, you know, definitely needs to move out of the, the idea that there's something to hide and there's a secret that you need to keep. Um, and in effect, it's, it's akin to having a conversation that you want to keep outside of other people's ears and as simple as that. And we all have conversations that, you know, we just don't feel are necessary for other people to necessarily hear or, or engage in. And, and that's effectively what uh, we're aiming to build with Signal. We very rarely uh, have lawmakers reach out to us. Um, I think the, the one time probably the most poignant is back in 2016 uh, when we were served uh, and forced to uh, give up um, information regarding a very specific uh, phone number that they had access to. Um, and you can go on our website and, and see what we ultimately um, had to deal with there. And, all, you know, for us, we have nothing. We don't know anything about um, our user base. We have no information that we necessarily store that would allow um, law enforcement any useful uh, recourse. Um, and so I think to that end, we generally um, have been, uh, you know, not considered and, and there are much, much larger organizations that are, uh, you know, I think taking up the, the space um, for that conversation. I think that there is a potential novelty to encryption and there's, a, there's this idea that um, I think other panelists have mentioned, you know, that if there's nothing to hide, why do you need it? Um, but, uh, you know, the thesis that, that I think about often is uh, communicating uh, via signal or being via end-to-end -end encryption um, is quite normal when you think about sort of the properties of offline and online. Um, and any service that doesn't offer that level of privacy in terms of communication is quite strange and abnormal. And, and so for us, you know, we definitely want to see the proliferation of encryption at large. Um, we think protecting people's communication and, and helping to ensure more private spaces can exist online um, is only a boon for everybody.